My name is Christine Burbano. I am 20 years old. I am a musician, spoken word poet, teaching artist, entrepreneur, and daughter of the universe. When I was 15, I left home after 10 years of abuse to build my own life. I ended up bouncing around from shelters to group homes, and when I was 16, I decided to start my own cleaning business so I wouldn't have to work for minimum wage and be able to save up to get my own place. The first time I handed out flyers and mailboxes, I walked around for six hours, and it was getting dark and cold. I was about to head back, but there was one more stretch of mailboxes down a giant hill, so I decided to press on. I ended up getting a call from a couple in Magnolia named Gwen and John. The first time I went to clean their house, I realized they lived on that last street that I almost didn't give the flyers to. And over the course of a year, we got to know each other mostly because they asked me a lot of questions. They thought it was bizarre that I was so young and biking from South Seattle to Magnolia with all my cleaning supplies in my backpack. To make a long story short, they ended up getting licensed to be foster parents and took me into their home where I lived for a year. Finally, having a stable place to live allowed me to more easily focus on school. I ended up graduating in 2011. And though I only accessed Treehouse services for a year, the warehouse gave me clothes I used to have to shoplift for and pay for me to take aerial silks classes at Emerald City Trapeze that I'd only before daydreamed about. I'm pretty sure the founders of Treehouse didn't know that it would grow to be such a helpful organization in so many ways to so many youth, but acts of blind compassion such as this rooted in not knowing that your time, energy, and service will pay off is vital. It's important to understand that we're inevitably affecting others in how we think, feel, live, and give. We all know that we're all here today to raise money for Treehouse. To invest in the future of foster kids, oftentimes a single belief can change the entirety of our lives. There's too much, much potential that can go to waste if we don't help inspire self-confidence and belief. There have been many organizations that cultivate love and community that have helped me be who and where I am today. Organizations like Treehouse change lives spiritually, metaphysically, and eternally. I feel it is my obligation and moral responsibility con to contribute to education and well-being of the future generation, especially those who are struggling. When I'm teaching spoken word poetry workshops in homeless youth shelters, I'm helping to create a space where it is okay to feel, express, write, and understand. I do it because helping them articulate the stories, pain, and sense of humor tangled up and buried inside them is someday going to help them. And I've written a poem that I'd like to share. There are some children down the street who need us. My mother was more like a jellyfish in the bathtub than warm apple pie and sweet breath. Some women can't help but to shock and sting like the men who have occupied their insides in a vague desperation for love. Like, instead of snorting crack into skull, her high was off to throat off groping their bones and claiming her soul in return. There are some children around the corner of our blocks that need a place to go after 7 a.m. When you know there is nothing else you can do but cry until you're certain all vitals are working, you start to break down. I could feel my DNA unraveling like a drive-by shooting in slow motion, but there is nowhere to run, just surrender and take it. I often questioned if my breath was a waste. There are some children who carry the weight of a sun on their back until they snap. Imagine being born as a displaced masterpiece, beaming but never shining bright enough to be loved. No one ever let her, her dance, her speak, her write her and mean it, her ask, her go for it, her wish and grant one, her sting, her sing, her drum her show you where diamonds were really come from to show you that diamond really means nothing when a child can't eclipse its cost there is someone you haven't met that needs you to consider them family a child whose potential shouldn't be contingent upon luck of draw and when you find yourself recognizing that we are of the same genes of dirt of stars ocean and light we might find some more time to unravel the selfish knots in our shoulders and when you do you might never know you spare 
scared someone a funeral song or a life went wrong, congratulations, you are this year's savior and everyone is God, but only the babies can speak it, so we have got to show how to be it. It is today and our outfits and lipsticks only feel half as important as they used to. It's becoming harder to find refuge now and the reasons hoarded beneath your skin to give the future in small doses a miracle only seems impossible until you see one happen before your eyes. There were times that I thought life was not worth living simply because opportunities had nothing in common with my options. 15 years later, I left with no idea. 17 years later, I realized my back against walls made me a wall. 19 years later, I found gaps where light began to shine. We are all going to be 20 years old someday with either stories to tell of endings and new beginnings or cycles continued in silence. The wise know that you can only keep teeth brushed and smiles wide until a heart decays and you feel the ache. I was never alive until I knew self-love. Childhood could not be sucked from my thumb and I would have ended up like my mother wrapped up in someone's bed sheets trying to kip, kick myself out like a broken butterfly I've been learning how to really live lately and there is nothing more to it than showing love and since love is giving, and giving is thriving, and thriving is electric, and electric is contagious like smiles, and anger, and anger is fear, and fear is drive, and drive is reason. My reason to give is because I know flowers that have bloomed even in the darkest places. Thank you. <laughs>